what is the first thing I do? I go and I'm going to look at all the, these T counters here, which, which, have, which um, are correspond with this Q, right? My hash functions are consistent, so I know that if I had incremented any counters for Q, it would have been these T counters. Okay, so I have these T different estimates of it, and how do I use these together to get the best estimate? as big as the right counter. So I might as well pick the smallest one because if I have a S, so if the value for Q say was 10 and I had values, so this one was like, this was 15, this was 11, this was 18, and this one was 20, I know they all must be at least as big as the right value. So I know they can't be any, so they can't be any smaller than this. So I might as well take the smallest one. Right, so on query, um, to, um, to, to uh, uh, um, on the query of Q, you return um, return the, the min of the um, C J of H J of Q. Right, so you just look at all the counters, you take the minimum of them. And, and it will give you this property. Um, so if, if, if you look in the, in the notes, uh, there's, there's a proof that's it's, it's not too hard to, to see why this is true. And you can probably read through it and follow it if I don't have time to go through. Um, so it, it, basically, what you do is you add up. So each each of the um, each of the other um, elements not equal to Q has some chance of, of causing error for each each of the counters. So if I look at the counter associated with Q, each of the other elements has a chance of having error in it. But the chance is going to be essentially um, one over K chance that all of those things go here. So that's going to be, um, so it's, because it's a 1 over k chance, it's about an epsilon over 2 chance. And if epsilon is small, then you can use Markov inequality to show that that happens, that it has no more than epsilon error, um, epsilon m error total with probably 1 half. And then you have log 1 over delta of these, and so you could drive there down to, um, to you can you can combine them together to drive the air down to any delta if you set t equal to this. So that's kind of an overview of the, of the analysis. Um, but it's a very simple algorithm. And so you can use it for a lot of other things. Instead of just doing a counter here, you can, you can, add, you can add something else in this space. Um, some other sort of more complicated data structure, maybe counting the number of distinct elements or something. Um, and um, you, you can also um, subtract things from the string. Maybe you had some value which was, you instead of having a new thing you said, one of the things I saw is now gone. Um, like if, th this is known as the turnstile model, like if you're going to the football game, you have to walk through one of those gates, those are called the turnstile. And so you say, you can, you can increase something by one or decrease it, but you can't decrease it more than you ever increase it. Uh, because you can't get someone who's you can't get someone to walk out of the football stadium if they never walked in, right? So if you if you if you have that guarantee, then you can keep track of the counts with the same um, guarantees um, even if you have uh, decreases. Where the or, or, or the, um, the 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 Misha Gries summary could not handle decreases, so this can handle decreases. But the space is going to be a little bit bigger. You're going to have two over epsilon instead of one over epsilon counters, and then times t. So this t is only going to be like 10. Is, you know, in, in general, you never really need this much bigger than 10. But it's still going to be about a factor 20 bigger. Um, you don't have a label anywhere. 
but the hash functions essentially have to store something about as large as a label. Um, so you're not really saving by not storing the labels. Um, so this is also another cool algorithm. So this was by um, um, by core mode and Mutu. I think this was in this was in only in uh, 2005, and so this has been used and extended all over the place since then. Um, so this was about when when uh, the Misha Gries algorithm was rediscovered twice as well. Um, so um, so so these. People have been studying this a lot in the last 10 years and the streaming type algorithm and they found a lot of uses for really large scale um, by, you know, really, really large scale data. Okay.